I know my earliest memory when I was a small baby was of colour. I remember a lady coming to look at me in my cot wearing a bright red coat and I can remember being transfixed with joy at that colour and seeing light come off it. When I'm working it's an intensely meditative thing. The kind of clothes that I design and like and make aren't to do with fashion. They're actually to do with embellishing cloth and celebrating it. I love to make fun of it. I love to use patchwork and embroidery, stitching and layering. I find looking at all this detail intensely gratifying and satisfying and interesting. Colours, they make a lot of sense to me in patterns together and they make much more sense than trying to communicate with people. Oh, how are you? Oh, yes, I'm very good today. When really, you know, you could be bloody suicidal. I don't really get it. I just find it really confusing. <laughs> I see Pearl engage in, in minute detail. She works right down to that microscopic level. She focuses totally on what she's doing and is consumed by it to such an extent that the whole of the uh, world around her disappears. Like a lot of people with Aspergers, I have great difficulty with filtering the world for what's important and what's irrelevant. I just notice everything. And it's so confusing and it's like... God, slow down, shut up, stop it. <laughs> to me, I can feel the patterns in nature because they're very elegant and exquisitely slow. My mind works like a plant, <laughs> very slow very responsive to the environment. I want people to see me as not a person with a disability, but a person with a special ability. I want to make their world a bigger place, a place full of more colour and light. Those colours are magnificent. <laughs>